You looking for something interesting right about, mate? Yeah, nothing here though. Yeah, we well, ain't in the night yet. Maybe I could help you. Another whiskey and soda will help. No worries. Excuse me, please. May I sit here? Certainly, go ahead. Are you a, a reporter? I mean, no. Sitting in the wrong place to report anything if I was. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But why the notebook? I don't like them. Well, these, I love them. Uh, it cost a bit dear for a good set, but uh, God, I wouldn't know what to do without them. Ah, you are a writer. Well, supposed to be. There you go, mate. Mikey, get the champagne. It's a boy. Hey, I knew it. I told you it'd be. Come here. Nice one, son. Listen, come and drink the bar, come. Excuse me, please. What just happened? I presume he's just become a father. Ah! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> please, allow me to pay for this. No, no. It's, it's a Oh, it's a celebration. Your papa. If you're sure. <laughs> yes, I insist. That's a beautiful lighter. Where did you get that? It's my dad's. It always works. Always? Yeah. It never fails. Not with me, anyway. Well, well. So, you say this famous light of yours, your father's lighter, it never failed. I, Did you say? I guarantee it never failed. One moment, please. One moment. Shall we not perhaps make a little bet on that? Yeah, I'll bet. Why not? Here we go, boys. Let's propose a toast to the boy, yeah? <laughs> hey. Lovely. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. For you. Thank you. And for the dad. To the boy. The boy. To the boy. Let's make a good bet on this thing. Listen to me. I bet you cannot light your famous lighter ten times running without failure. Sure. I bet you a few pounds. No, 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 no. I make a very good bet. I'm a rich man, but I'm a sporting man also. Outside is my car. It's a very fine British car. Oh, no. Hold on a minute. You can't expect no product like that sort of property. She's crazy. Not crazy at all. You see the red Jaguar outside? Yeah? You light your life, ten times running, and the car is yours. Would you like to have it? Yeah, I'd like to have a Jag. Okay, fine. We make a bet. Yeah, we'll see. I never ask you, my friend, to bet something you cannot afford. Some small thing you can afford to give away. And if you did happen to lose, it would not be so bad, right? Such as what? Such as the small finger of your left hand. My what? You win, you take the car. You lose, I take the finger. How do you mean take the finger? I chop it off. That's crazy. He's right. I think I'll just make it a pound. You say it light, but you're not bad. And we forget it. Cheers. You must be very proud. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> what are you calling him? I quite like Billy. Don't think the missus approves though. It's a nice name. Why Billy? It's my dad's name. Both my parents have passed. That's why I'm living here with my cousin. 
Couldn't afford to stay in my parents' house. Me and Debs will be out once I found a job. Will you and Mickey get on well? When we were younger. Now I feel in the way. He has his pub to run. Now let me just check this bet of yours. You say that if I make this light a light ten times running, I win a jag. If it misses, then I forfeit the little finger of my left hand. Indeed, but I think you're afraid. What happens if I lose? Do I have to hold my finger out while you chop it off? Oh, no, 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 no. That would be no good, and you might be tempted to refuse it. What I should do, I should tie one of your hands to the table, and I should stand there, ready to chop, the moment your light misses. What year is the jag? Good, not understand. How old is the jag? Ah, how old? Yes, uh, I bought it last year. Jaguar E-Type. It's a new car. But I see you're not a betting man. So it's a shame. I'll do it. Good, we'll do it now. And you, sir, if you could referee it. Well, I'd just like to make this clear. And I don't like this boat. Do I? You're stupid. If you've got another thing coming, do you think we can start chopping off things in my pub? If I win the car, I'll sell it. And me and Debs will have a place of our own. I know you don't want us here forever, especially with Billy too. What if you lose? I know I can do this. Trust me. I'll give you a slice of what I sell it for. Quarter. Cool. Just think, if I win the car, this could be the best thing that ever happens to either of us. Fine. Still ain't happy about this. Uh, why'd you want this man's finger? Let's play a little game in here. Please, sit. I want you to find me three things, no, no, four things. I want a piece of wood, I want some nails, and I want a hammer. Oh, you stop banging nails in my tables. No, 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 I put in the piece of wood. Yeah? Think of the money, sir, please. So, you get me this thing. I want a piece of wood, I want some nails, I want a hammer, and I want a chopping knife. A sharp chopping knife. It's like your life, huh? Good tools for the job. So, you can find me those things? But what if you lose? It won't matter. I can't remember ever in my life having had any use of the little thing on my left hand. Here he is. And he hasn't ever done a thing for me yet. Thank you. Now, before we begin, I'll present to the referee the key of the car. The owning papers and insurance is in the pocket of the car. Now I prepare. Okay, now, clench the fist, all except for this finger, yeah, you must leave the little finger, exactly, excellent. Mr. Referee, you may say to begin. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. And you? Quite ready. Alright, go ahead. Oh. 
one. Two. Three. Six. Stop! Carlos. You promised. Why? How do you know, Skeezer? Gentlemen, I am so sorry. I am this man's psychiatrist. I was meant to meet him tonight. Yeah? But he's mentally ill. And he's still walking the streets. That's my fault. I shouldn't have left him alone. He has an obsession. The bed, the knife, the lighter. You mean he's done this before? When I first met him, he was in police custody. They had found a collection of 47 fingers in his apartment. A neat little battalion lined up on his mantelpiece. Like souvenirs. I was going to win a jag off him. How low you have come to bet what is no longer yours. The Jag's not it! He must have taken the keys. The Jag is mine. Uh, your keys, they're on the bar. Where have you got a Jag? Sometimes, to help a patient, you have to play by their terms. It took a long time. But I won that jag from him. I won everything from him. I beat him at his own game. 